Hello friends, I'm Janine and I'm going to make a short, hopefully it'll be short, video on how to make videos. And I use two different apps and the first app we're using, you can see it on the screen, is called Record It. Now, <clears throat> this app is available through um, Apple, the Apple Store for Apple devices. And I'm not sure you might have to use a different app for Android. So you'll have to check on that. Okay, so I want to show you a couple features. The first one is when you, I'm going to close this little picture. Um, when you first open the app, it says face camera is off. And on the right, there's a little picture of a camera and if you tap that it will give you your image but notice how it has all these little controls over the image so you have to tap just anywhere on the screen to make all those controls go away when I first started using this app I didn't know how to do that and then finally I learned the second thing is and you can't see it on my screen, but when you first go into this app and hit the red button above, so now it's telling me face camera is on. When I first hit the red button above it, it shows me below that the mic is off and I have to tap that, which I don't think I can show you right now without stopping the recording, but you just want to make sure in the beginning when you hit the red button, when it tells you the mic is off, you tap it so that it can hear you on the audio. And then of course, if you're not wanting audio, then don't tap the mic, but usually people want the mic on. So this first one where the screen is kind of a light red color is the recording app that I use. So, um, on the bottom, you can see my camera picture. Now, if I tap on the face of it, it will put these controls on the screen. And if I tap the little, at the top right, there's a little square that looks like a image or computer or something. If I tap on that, it actually closes the camera. If I tap on the camera again, it puts it there. If I tap on the image of the camera screen once, just not on the controllers, it will make those controllers go away. Now, if I wanna make this picture, you can't make it fill the whole screen, but if I want it to be a little bigger, I can either stretch it out a little or just tap on it twice and it will make it a little bigger okay and then tap on it twice again and it will make it smaller then you can move it around your screen it will only go to the four corners so you know you can put it on this one this one I usually put it there because it uh, lines up better with where the camera is and doesn't make it look like I'm looking away <laughs> tap on it there we go to get your screen and then you can from there open whatever app you're wanting to either do like if you're gonna do a commentary on YouTube you can tap YouTube I don't really do that if you want to go through a picture but what I usually do is I tap on my blue letter Bible app so I'm gonna tap on that and this is how I get the Bible on the screen and record it. Now, if I don't want my picture on the bottom, I can turn off my camera. But I leave it there because um, people like to see that a person is there. So that's the only reason why. And then you can do whatever you want to do. And I'm actually going to be doing a teaching on just the most important I'm gonna to try to summarize Hebrews in another video and go through the highlights because it's so critical that we all understand the power 
of what Jesus Messiah did for us in his blood, how it cleanses us from sin and makes us right with God. So that'll be a separate teaching. Okay, so after you do whatever you want to do in your recording of your video, and then let's say at this point I, I want to show something else. Let's say I want to show the audio Bible. You just swipe up and go to the different apps, okay? I'm going to go to my screen. I want to show you the second app that I use in order to put a video together. So first you do the recording. And I normally would have stopped the recording by now, but I'm going to continue letting it run so that you can see how I do the video editing because this is what takes the majority of the tutorial. Okay, so the video editing, I've tried a couple different ones. So I have different ones on my desktop computer and they're very complicated to use. Um, I've made a lot of videos with that but they take one video with the editing and everything I do can take me a week working on it a little bit each day. But then God was so good because with this little iPad, I tried a couple different apps and found this one called Video Shop and it makes my editing, what used to take me a week takes me three hours. It is a huge blessing and I want to show you guys how to use it because <clears throat> it's just a fabulous tool especially if you like to make videos whether they're for your, yourself or you put them on YouTube or whatever now what we're going to do is once you've recorded your video and you're ready to do the video editing you want to go to your um, photo gallery so this is on an Apple device. This is how, how I've found it works the best. So you go to your photo gallery and it'll show up as the most recent thing in your group of all your pictures, but you can also highlight and create a, a folder like I did called, or an, they call it an album called, like I made one called video clips. So I know this is the one I just did that I want to edit. So I'm going to I'm going to just press my finger on the screen until I get this menu. And once I get this menu, I want to say share. And then I want to say share with video shop. Okay, so once you've installed Video Shop on your app, it will come up as one of these options. So I'm going to tap Video Shop. Now, I have the option of tapping on the left where it says New Project and starting from scratch, or I can tap on this other one where I said Video Shop Tutorial where I've already been working on it and I'm going to edit. So I'm going to go ahead and tap video shop tutorial, but usually you're just starting a new project. Okay. And it'll look the same once you do it. So now I'm going to tap so that there's a check mark at the top right of the project. I want to go in and then I say at the top, very top right in the orange banner is export. You want to tap on that and it's going to, now for longer videos, this can actually take 45 minutes or an hour. But because I'm importing a video clip that's only a minute or two, it'll go pretty quickly here. Okay, now, okay, I'm gonna put my picture over here to, so that you can see. Now, the video clip that I just imported, it automatically puts it at the last frame. So on the very bottom, you can see I have all these video clip frames and each frame has to do with wherever I've either had a new frame added or I've split. And then whenever you split your, your 
video, it creates it as a separate frame. So this last frame, I actually want to move. So I'm going to press on that and I'm going to just slide it over and I want it to be the second clip. So sometimes you'll have things like the arrow and the text and what you do is at the top you have to keep tapping on it till it highlights the one that you're wanting to edit. And I want to just make an adjustment to where the length is not so far over there. So we'll just do it like that. Okay, now, so let's go to the second clip. This is the one I just recorded. And what I wanted to show you is how to use some of these features on this menu. And I do go over this towards the end of this video, but it's I do it really fast and I realized I needed to go slower. Let's pretend like this is the beginning because see here I've already put a title in and I want to show you how to do all that stuff. So I'm going to go to this frame and we're going to pretend like this is the first frame. And if I want to add, let's say first I want to insert a logo. At the bottom, there's an orange, on the right, there's an orange circle with a plus. You want to tap on that. Then you have several options. If you hit import, it will put it in as a separate frame. If you're wanting to put something on top of what you already have, you have to choose impose and that's what we're going to do. So let me show you that again. I'm going to select the purple one impose and then I'm going to select the purple import to put a picture and I'm going to tap on this word up above it says recents and I'm going to select my files. Now in order for your files to have what you're looking for you have to have already shared something from your photos into your files and then I create specific um, folders so I can find things easier. Okay, so we're going to go down to find this icon. So this is just an example of when I would use the impose feature and I'm going to put that there. Okay, so the next thing is I don't want it to just suddenly plop on the screen. I'd like it to fade in. So this little menu here lets you do more things. So I'm going to select, I'm going to leave effects and go over to fade and on the right there's a toggle, fade in and out. And that will affect it at the beginning of when you want that picture to show up and at the end. The next thing I'm going to do is on the bottom it says length. This is where you determine how long do you want that object to show up on top of your video. If you want it to show up for the whole thing, you, you will scroll the whole thing, okay? If not, you'll just do it for however long you want. So, I don't, I just want it to show up for, we'll just put it about there, okay? And once you've determined, you can hit the check mark. And you can always go in and edit it. And the way you do that is at the top. This is how you can slide through all your, um, your frames, but you can see all of it. So you'll see there's a little image. If I tap on this right here, it highlights the object. So it gives me the chance to edit it, see? Okay, now the next thing is, let's say we want to add a title. So remember we're pretending like this is my first frame for this demonstration. So once again, below the main picture, this black menu slides. 
and you're gonna slide it a couple times till you see title. And title is on the left here, and I'm gonna tap title. Hello friends, I'm Janine. Now it will start playing your video so you can pause it. And then I have already typed in, but I'm gonna show you how to do it. So this is the title. They do different things, so you'll wanna just tap on them and look at the different titles, okay? So let's go with this one. Now, the way I got this tutorial on Record It and Video Shop in there was up above, it says title. This is where you type the main title, okay? And then author is where I typed the other information, okay? So this is where I typed tutorial on Record It and Video Shop. And I don't think it'll let me fit any more words in there. They limit, if you use this kind of a title option, it does limit how many words. But you'll notice if I tap on the different ones, it puts the information in different places. Okay, so this one does a date. So we'll go with this one for this demonstration. And once I choose one, it just automatically does a nice fade in. It holds it for a little bit and then a fade up. And then you hit the green check mark. And if you wanted to edit your title, here, let's play it. Okay, if you wanted to edit your title, remember up above you just tap on these items. By doing that, we actually found where we can adjust the length that the title shows up. So let's move it here. Let's, let's lengthen it to here. And then hit the green check mark. Now, let's say that we want to split the screen here. You go down to this black menu until you see the word split. And you, let's say this is where I want to split it. You split, you hit the split, and then let's go to where I want to split here and take a piece out. So we're gonna split it again. And now let's say this clip I don't want. So after I've done the split at the beginning point and the split at the ending point, I just slide it back a little so that I'm right on the clip that I want to delete and I hit the delete key that's right here on the left and then you have to confirm it at the bottom right. So I'm gonna hit delete. Now, that's how you delete parts of your video. Now, in this instance, I may need that portion. So let's say I said, oh, no, I, I didn't mean to delete that, I want it back. As long as you do it before you do any other edit and deletes, you can hit the undo and it'll put it right back. And if I hit undo again, it removes the second split. And if I hit undo again, it removes the left split. So it basically keeps your movements in a history. Okay, so that's how you do that. And then let me show you how to do a couple other things because even though I sh I'm gonna show you later in the video, I go pretty fast. Let's say that there's some text I want to block for privacy. So if on this menu, see where it says stickers? You have all kinds of options. You can scroll through, okay? But if I hit this little dash, and then I can actually enlarge it. And so let's say I want it about there. If I go back to effects, I can say and fade it in. Let's try this. So that's how you can do something like that. All right, and then later in the video, I go through how to do a lot of other edits, okay? So at this point, we want to import a video. And what we're gonna do is go to photos. I'm going to select a video. 
and I'm gonna say share with video shop. It takes longer if it's a large video. I'm gonna tap on the video I want it to bring it into, hit export, and then what it does is it puts it at the end. It always puts it at the end where you just brought it in. And from here, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to do a transition. See the menu below the video? And it says transition. So let's test it out. Okay, and now we're going to um, do some editing here. Let's now do a add text. And we're going to say and then I would like it to fade. So we do that. Now, the next thing is I want to point out that right here, there's a dove that eats we're going to choose an arrow and we're going to do this and we're going to do that and I want the arrow to actually actually show up there so tap okay I'm going to show you right here how to superimpose an image like a logo so at the orange round bottom is a plus you don't choose import, you choose impose, which is purple. You choose that and you say import, and I'm gonna say my files. Now you will have to share different pictures you wanna use with your files on your device because I've tried a variety of things and that's the easiest way to get it to work. And then you position it where you want it. You say how long and then back under effects if I click fade and turn it on it'll fade in and out for me so let's try it okay maybe we'll move it here because that's pretty short and I'm going to change the length and let's try it one more time okay and the last thing how to add music so right here I want to insert, you slide your menu till you see music. We're going to add music. Okay, and if I want that one, it's installing it. It just takes a second. You can see the little circle going around. And then once that, then you tap it again and it inserts it. And then you say done. And now we're going to tap on the little icon that's the sound. Go to sound wave and you're gonna turn it down a little. And this is showing you it'll play this music for the rest of it. Now, if this was a longer video, like where I had on my own, but it didn't show me recording it, put the music at the beginning of this video. Once I adjusted the sound throughout it so that it was real soft in the background and didn't go too loud over me, then you can hit loop. Okay, but I'm not going to, after you hit loop, you would have to hit this little slider. But I'm not going to do that because I've already got it looped in another portion. I'm just going to do this. So let's see what it sounds like. So I know we rushed through quite a few things, but I'm hoping this gave you enough of an overview. Uh, with demonstrating some of the video editing tools that you will feel like you can tackle it. All right, so if you have questions, you can put it in the comments. I just, I don't have all the answers. So if I know or I can figure it out, I'll be happy to tell you. Otherwise, 
If you um, go to the help for video shop, they are really good at answering your specific questions. Like if you go to the app and then it has a help option. All right, all right, I hope that helped you. God bless you and, and God bless you with your videoing. All right, bye-bye.